You may think that because you're a small company, you don't need to worry about planning for a crisis, but this isn't the case. Something as small as losing internet connectivity can have a large effect on your business, which is why you need to have a plan in place for everything that could possibly go wrong. This is called your crisis communication plan. Make sure you nominate two people to take control if a crisis happens. If you're on holiday and there's a problem, you need to make sure your whole team knows what to do in your absence. So create a communications plan to let everyone in your company know the procedures they need to follow. To write a crisis communications plan, conduct a risk assessment by identifying and rating risks from the very serious to the not so serious and the very likely to the not so likely. Plan for the very serious and very likely incidents first. Outline what impacts these crises could have. This will help you to understand how you could deal with each problem. Like any good communications plan, this will need to be updated and any changes re-communicated to your team every three months. How in-depth you make the plan depends entirely on the size of your business and the potential impact a crisis could have. The best way to react in a crisis is with speed. The sooner your company gets their facts straight and apologises for any wrongdoing, the better. Be honest and don't cover up the truth because your lies will come out eventually and make you look worse. Companies that are honest and apologise for any wrongdoing straight away are much more likely to be forgiven by their customers. But the most important thing to remember is that you can't plan too much. People tend to go a little crazy when a crisis happens, so having a plan in place is the best thing you can do. When things go wrong, and perhaps even the press begin to speculate, your best line of defence is having a plan. These days, with social media, company information can get out to a lot of people in a short space of time. But this isn't always a bad thing and can be an advantage for small businesses. You can use social media to help you to get your apology or message out a lot faster following a crisis. And how you plan to do this should also be factored into your crisis communications plan. And whatever you do, don't ignore social media and what people are saying about you and your business. For more information, visit my company's website at toplinecoms.com.